I need to reconsider what I'm doing with my life. Anyways, uh, we're obviously here in Bacalar, in Quintana Roo, in the Mayan Riviera. I got a little bit roasted, see that? Been in the sun for too many days. So today we're gonna take it easy, kind of. It's cloudy out there, so it's perfect. Um, but we're gonna do like a little walking tour around Bacalar. There's all these wicked artworks on the walls and stuff, and there's Casey in the background. She's a pretty wicked artwork. Yeah, yeah there's a fortress, a uh, Spanish fortress. We might take a walk around there, I don't know. It's a $5 entry. Whew. Too much. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, a Spanish fortress from uh, the 1700s. Uh, I'll put the name on the screen if we end up visiting, I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to the Lavanderia, which is a laundry. laundry. We got laundry, yeah. Oh my god. There's people out there. Yeah, it's crazy. In a neighborhood? People in a neighborhood. This is an outrage. Mm. <laughs> Need to shave my neck beard. Stay, stay tuned for super exciting day. Okay, here's this old Spanish fortress. It's called Fuerte de San Felipe de Bacala. And look at that. They built this in the 1700s, the Spaniards did. After they got ransacked by pirates. The pirates can come up the lagoon. There's canals that the ancient Mayan people built that go all the way out to the ocean and the pirates would just sail right up. And then they got, uh, the Spaniards got screwed. So they built this thing just to protect themselves. This must have been a moat. Probably filled with water. Mm -hmm. yeah, obviously it was. There's cannons up there. There's uh, Carib coolers. <laughs> and we'll just take a walk around. What is it? Fuerte, Fuerte. de San Felipe de Bacarar. There's my memory again. <laughs> I got a good memory. I don't. Okay, so I wonder if there's any like write up about it. This probably used to have something. Maybe yeah. Don't think we'll go inside though. Because we're spending a lot of money just uh, doing tours and such, but at least we can walk around the outside and get some good footage. So Bacalar was one of the uh, first settlements that the Spaniards took from the Mayans. Um, in Quintana Roo and that uh, secured their place in the area uh, then they got ransacked by pirates like I said earlier so they ended up building this but I believe the pirates were probably British I don't know if you know anything about the British uh, the British naval was basically pirates that were uh, commissioned by the British Navy to just go ransack and whatever do whatever claim land for the for the British and they had this constant battle with the uh, Spaniards back and forth, taking land from each other. Ooh, nice tree. Just blooming pink. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, so there's that history with the Spaniards and the British. And yeah, Bacalar was one of their first settlements. I'll go over to the side here. Oh, there's some kind of light there. Maybe it lights up at night. Yeah, I wish I could go inside. Well, I could, but we just want to avoid spending too much damn money. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so that's the outside of that, and it's kind of got a neat history. This is over uh, 300 years old. So, 
Yeah, that's cool. All right, guys, so we just finished off our tour of the town, uh, and we probably didn't even get everything, obviously, but we're here for two weeks, so hopefully we'll make like another walking tour or something along the way sometime. Um, yeah, so one thing you'll notice about uh, Bacalar is that a lot of the houses are built of bamboo and grass, they use grass on the roofs, as you like see over there. Um, something not really that common in Mexico that I noticed earlier is that, say in like Puerto Varda, you don't really have like uh, construction using that kind of materials. It's all cement and and bricks and stuff. Um, so yeah, this region they use more of like natural uh, construction materials. It's kind of cool. It looks a lot like Southeast Asia, like in Philippines. Mm -hmm. Bamboo and grass and whatnot. Yeah. Um, it's a cool little house too. A lot of colors here. Lots of artwork, lots of colors. Um, yeah, it's just a beautiful little place. Like, Can't stress enough how nice this damn place is. It's amazing. 